Hey Collective, Vita here, back with another message. Please take what resonates, kick rocks to the rest. We've got Libra here. This is personality type ESFJ. Extroverted, sensing, feeling, judging. This could be you or this could be someone connected to you. Very warm hearted, cooperative, wanting to be appreciated, likes working with others. You could like working with others. You do like being appreciated. Someone wants to be appreciated by you. Someone wants to cooperate with you. Here we have someone that feels you were um, supposed to be true. Be there for them, but instead you ran. This could be the other person or this could be you. Someone ran from a connection. And then we have... You did me wrong too. So there's some pointing of the fingers, a blame game going on perhaps. Maybe it's me. Maybe I've been the villain in my own story all alone. There's someone that feels like uh, they've got some parts that they could have redone, rewritten in this book, whatever book this is. There is certainly projection going on like i said finger pointing maybe you're doing some reevaluating on a situation that you feel like you could have perhaps been a little bit more calmer or not i don't know even cruel someone thinks that you are cruel there could have been a, an abrupt ending a major disagreement this could be work or love it does feel primarily like love because we have here you will trust me again and you will love me again. So there's someone that wants you to love them again. And then we have this INFJ personality type. You could be a cancer, don't have to be very intu intuitive, introverted, feeling, judging, conscientious, seeks meaning, meaning, firm values, organized and decisive. And behind that we have ENT, no, ENTP. So this is Gemini and Sagittarius. So Libra, Gemini, Sagittarius, Cancer are the energies coming through. You could be one of these signs or have all these signs in your chart, or these could be other people in your energy. Um, you could be very introverted and you have had a lot of dealings with uh, extroverted personalities. Here we've got extroverted, intuitive thinking and perceiving ingenious, stimulating, alert, bored by routine. So there's someone that's bored or gets bored easily by routines. This could be you as well. You could be an entrepreneur. You like working alone or working with a small group of people. You could be in a creative field. You could be in a very technical field. You could be into travel, something like that. Let's keep going. Let's get some clarity. Why is this ES? FJ here, extroverted, sensing, feeling, judging, Libra energy, balance, balance of the scales. Someone wants to balance something out with you, compromise, they want to cooperate. Peace. Someone wants peace with you. They feel that they can't have peace unless they uh, come to some sort of resolution, a mutual resolution. Imagine. Imagine a life that's different from what it is now. That's what this person has on their mind a lot. They want to be in a different space, a different place. They want to be near you. You are supposed to be there for me, but instead you run. This could be your energy. You feel like someone ran from you. They didn't treat you right. Now they want to come back when everything is solid for you. You don't appreciate that. You feel like this person never fully appreciated you. They might have taken you for granted, taken advantage of your good nature. Someone took advantage of your good nature, your giving spirit. <laughs> never ending story. You are supposed to be there for me. Never ending story. So this is like that round and round energy. There's just no end in sight for whatever energy this is, situation this is. At least someone feels that way. It doesn't have to be you. Maybe, you know, you've let bygones be got bygones and you're gone. Someone sees that, sees that a little bit differently. They don't agree with 
with your stance, whatever position you're maintaining regarding this relationship, they don't agree with it. And they want you to know they don't agree with it. Why is you will trust me again and you will love me again here? Love. Clean it up. Clean it up. And it landed on maybe it's me. Maybe I've been the villain in my own story all along. I'm going to leave this here because it feels like it belongs. This is a number 21. Again, the world card energy from like the tarot deck. This is this is something that you closed out, but it's never ending for someone else. They just keep going round and round and they're reevaluating their stance. They're reevaluating what they did to contribute to this separation or this demise of whatever situation this is. You did me wrong too. Someone did you wrong, and they think you did them wrong. To the sea, they think you did them wrong by leaving. This person does not understand why you just up and booked the hell on out of whatever this was. You, you packed up, and you were like, I'm done. I'm done. Whatever this is, you, you, you left it. You left it. Loyal heart. You could have been very loyal to this person. You could be a very loyal friend. You could really, really have a thing about loyalty. Like you're loyal to people. You give people your all. You keep their secrets. And if they do, if they act out of pocket, you let them know. You don't sit on the sideline and let somebody that you love make a fool of themselves. You step up. If you have to shake them a little bit, you don't mind doing that either. And this person probably didn't appreciate that about you. Didn't appre appreciate your, your frankness. Someone didn't appreciate your frankness, but now they do. Now they understand. You will trust me again. Will you trust them again? They want you to trust them again. No place like home. They feel that you're home to them. This person feels that you're home to them. Happy, happy. They were happy with you. You could have been happy with each other. You could have been happy with each other and then everything just went to crap. And, and that was that. Let's get a card for this uh, INFJ, Cancer. Cancer energy, INFJ, very rare personality type, the INFJ, misunderstood, you could be easily misunderstood, time for a nap, you just want a break from whatever this is, flexible, maybe you don't feel like being flexible, but this is a situation that requires some flexibility, but you just want to nap. You just want to rest. You don't want to deal with whatever this is at the moment. You're busy. Someone's busy. <laughs> You're like, I'm busy. I'm busy. Time for a nap. Let's get a card for time for a nap. <laughs> Golden aura. Golden aura. Golden child. Thoughts. Clarifying. Time for a nap. And then we have this wealthy man energy coming through in despair. So there is a wealthy energy that's in a lot of despair, doing a lot of thinking. They want a break. They could see you as this INFJ personal personality that is misunderstood. Someone just cannot figure you out at all. Like you're an anomaly for real, for real. No place like home. You could live far away from people. You could be very secluded and very happy. Very happy living how you live. No place like home. Someone sees you as home. High honor. High honor. Wow. Journey. Wow. That's beautiful. You're in a, a beautiful place. Whoever you are, you're in a beautiful place. You have peace. But there's something that you're not uh, 
you're not interested in bending for maybe you're not interested in bending backwards for anyone anymore maybe you've done too much of that and you're done with it maybe you just want to receive maybe you're tired of being the giver right over giving you could have been over giving to this energy to these people to this situation and now you're just not doing it anymore you're doing a lot of reflection you're cleaning up right cleaning it up you do recognize how you've played a role in certain situations in your life and sometimes that can be simply giving too much to people that don't deserve it bending backwards always being there for someone that wasn't always there for you making plans with someone and then at the last minute they bail out because they want to do something different with a different person and you're like okay that's fine see you next time you're not doing that anymore you're not doing that anymore peace why is peace here i just heard kiss my ass <laughs> Lost person. <laughs> you tell this person to kiss your ass. If you haven't, you will. Ooh, let me stop. <laughs> stop coughing. <laughs> you put this to rest. Whatever this is, you put this to rest, man. You sure did. You sure did. You're not bending over backwards for any more false people, false narratives, whatever this is. The workplace where people act all like they're your friend, knowing dang on well, they are not your friend. You're done with all these backstabbers. Whew. Never ending story. What's this about? <clears throat> you ended it. You ended something. Occupation. Could very well be a job, but this feels more like that obsession energy that continues to come through. You were supposed to be there for me, but instead you ran. This person can't stop stop thinking about... This person does not know why this relationship ended. They really don't. They really don't. Whoever this is. There could be a child involved, children involved. This does feel like new beginning energy here. Concern. Someone's got a lot of concern about a child. Could have a lot of concern about... You having a new beginning with someone else. Maybe you're expecting a child with someone new. And that's got this person up in a tizzy. But occupation is here. We did see the wealthy man and despair. So this could also have to do with some sort of loss. Some big old, big old financial downfall. Why is Jen here? Wow main male and it landed on clean it up and you see we've got this color synchronicity these browns here someone could like to wear brown suits khaki pants khaki uh, cargo shorts so 21 and one angel number 211 could be significant this did land on yen so we've got two here and 20 Two here and one here, so that's 21, right? And then we've got 21 here. So 21, 21 could be significant. Two, one, two, one. Um, as I was saying, you could have given a lot to this person or this person could have given a lot to someone else and didn't reciprocate when it came to you. Whatever this is, um, this person could want to give you something, want you to receive them message of concern. They could be planning a surprise visit. They want you to be flexible. They want you to be open-minded. They want to clean something up with you. Clear the air. Clear the air. Sweep it away. Let bygones be bygones. They want to tell you that they realized that they didn't treat you right. But remember, we've got false person here. Let's get a card for flexible. Flexible. 
Okay. So we've got concern. Like I said, someone's very concerned about your inflexibility. 22 is sideways. Landing between false person and main male. Bad health. So someone is not faring too well. They thought that they went to someone that would be their lifelong partner. This person ended up being feral, um, deceptive. We're going to get another card for bad health. Just showed up again at the bottom. Concern. This person could be concerned about you moving on with someone that will be your lifelong partner. Something about partnerships. Why is two to see here with you did me wrong? Hmm. Wealthy man, it landed face down on top of maybe it's me. So there's a wealthy man here in the mix. Community change. <clears throat> it's face down though. Maybe you've had dealings with some energy that has a lot of uh, financial backing even this could have been a financial backer for your business you could have a shop you could have investment investment stocks investment firm money manager hmm you're gonna have to get more on this wealthy man coffin again is at the bottom you could have ended something with Someone that was quite wealthy, they thought that their wealth could keep you available. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is here, but I feel like it should stay here. And I also feel like this main male should stay with this clean it up. So if that's the case, then you do have these two energies that want to try to come back to you. <coughs> male or female, take it how it resonates. And then we've got lover. So this could be past lover, new lover, present lover. A partnership doesn't have to be love. You could have a decision to make between two energies here. Let's try this again to the C. Okay. Great fortune landed upside down on this false person, privileged lady. Um, upside down, sudden wealth. So someone made a move toward... This false person that pretended to be quite privileged to have all this grand wealth and they thought they were going to reap some rewards. Suddenly it didn't happen. Expectation. Their expectations weren't met. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's try this again to the C. This person could be a Libra, could be a Cancer. Right. Cancer. To the C. expectation clarifying to the sea and imprisonment so that's interesting journey so someone could could just feel like they're forever going to be um, indebted to the memory of you indebted to the memory of you you did me wrong too this person feels in prison trapped by your energy they could see you as somewhat of a very dark force that has trapped them that has condemned them, condemned them to a life of near non-existence family room 21 so we're seeing a lot of twos and a lot of ones two two 12 is in the reverse there's reversals here there's a disruption in a family unit a family dynamic could involve a business let's see let's get these cards why is occupation here? This is landing on the wealthy man. Review the contract carefully. There is a deception within a hidden clause. Three, four, and 21. Again, 21. This is that underworld ass energy coming through. She resents your beauty and intelligence, not your friend. So if there is... A wealthy energy that wants to, uh, that has already offered you some sort of contract. It's very important to review that contract carefully. If you're this wealthy energy and you're resonating with this reading and you've recently 
had maybe a stack of contracts given to you and your lawyers have reviewed them. They could There could be something that the lawyer missed. Something was missed. A deception within a contract. There's a clause, a hidden clause. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Death clause. Could be a death clause in this in this contract. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Let's go back to occupation. This could even be like a prenuptial agreement that someone has been working on. Maybe you're engaged and you uh there's a prenuptial agreement. There's something about a death clause in a prenuptial agreement. That's different. Occupation. <laughs> you are wicked to the bone, yet hide it well. One day you will be seen for who you truly are. This is kind of landing on this false person. So there's someone being seen for who they truly are. And then we've got this energy of he believes he can't live without you. Girl, you better run. But as we can see from this card right here, somebody already ran. They already left. He's been gone. Been gone. Been gone. Let's try this again. Occupation. I mean, I guess I don't need it. Oh, come on. Yellow water. It's in the reverse. And it landed on great fortune in the reverse. Oh, so someone could have tried to do some mojo on you and it backfired. Yellow water, that's always an interesting card. It's in the reverse, though. Yellow water sometimes can indicate disease, kidney, urinary tract, but it can also be an indication of some sort of uh, chemical contamination with large bodies of water. It's in the reverse. So if there's any news that's going to come out fairly soon about, I don't know, water contamination i mean it's always important to filter your water anyway but this is in the reverse so there could be some false story being brewed up i don't know you are wicked to the bone something about someone's bones someone could need more iron having some breakages hips hip replacement someone could have had hip replacement he used to be a handsome man. Now no one looks at him. He blames you. So we're back with that blaming energy. This person that can't stop thinking about you, watching you, obsessing over you, is blaming you for their situation, whatever that situation might be. All right, I'm, I'm done with occupation. Nothing's going to come out for that. Why is concern here? concern okay that's close enough continue to share your wisdom with others your love and your light this is your mission this is why you're here so you're in mission you're fully in mission your work is very important to the collective continue to do what you're doing you're very wise you're you are very giving you're very giving so this just fell out don't lend them the money and on the run it was kind of in the reverse someone wants you to stop running someone needs a helping hand financially um, they could need a place to live they could currently be living with a family member behind family room we've got thief so there there is a thief and then behind thief we've got poverty and despair so someone was swindled out of some money then we got mature woman and courtship unexpected income so i do feel like this person whoever they are that has um, been swindled out of some dough they're looking at you as a last resort a bailout hoping that you can bail them out but spirits kind of clear here by saying don't lend them the money they're not going to pay you back we've got taurus virgo and leo so that's fire and earth energy we already have cancer out right and then we've got Libra here. So you could, and Gemini Sagittarius, don't forget that was in the back. So anything else for this? Yeah, let's see why this high honor is here. High honor. Whatever God wants you to see, you will be shown. So there's nothing to worry about 
Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. This did land on here. You are wicked. And it was clarifying high honor. I feel like this is your energy. No place like home. You will trust me again. And when you do, you will love me again. So this person that wants you to love them again feels that, in fact, you are mostly, not partly, but mostly responsible for whatever debacle this is that they're in, stuck in, involved in. Let's go back to this wealthy man, this this dude right here, see what's going on. Something about a contract. Oh, this just landed on main mail. So let's see. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. Long. So I did say loan. So this person is alone. Um, They're groaning. So they could in fact have suffered some sort of I don't want to keep saying things that are like, you know, hurt, like hurt body parts or whatever. So, yeah, <sighs> let's go back. So this main male is trying to encapsulate some kind of way this wealthy man energy here. Wealthy man encapsulate. That's an interesting word to use. Oh, what's happening? You will see them again, and when you do, you will be happy. Virgo Taurus. So we've got Virgo Taurus. We've seen that twice. Um, it landed face down between the main male and the wealthy man. So if you've uh, had any dealings with this energy, they want to see you again. You might want to see them again. There is interference here, energetic interference that could be coming through physical, and if it hasn't, become yet visible it it just might it just might as a small child you knew your imaginary friends were real you still speak with them they love you there is a lot of love for whoever you are a lot of, you have a lot of love a lot of protection you are guiding others and so your protection is just going to continue to like become even stronger so whatever is playing out in the narrative at this time I, you know, I'm not going to say don't take take it with a grain of salt. We always have to be prepared for certain events, but you are protected and it's, a, you know, you're intuitive. You know how to follow your inner guidance and the guidance of spirit. And so it's never, um, in my opinion and from my own experience, beneficial to live in a space of fear. That's when um, errors in judgment have a tendency to kind of crop up and throw things off track. So you're on track. Continue to choo-choo on with your bad self. And I will see you guys soon.